you'd like to keep investing in more property uh, and you're thinking you might want to do it with a uh, another person or a few other people because uh, your income's capped or you'd like a bit of help, you want to um, you know, branch out of just investing on your own, what you might look at doing is a joint venture. Uh, you know, It's another name for a partnership. And what you can do is you can invest with friends, uh, you know, one friend or many friends, family, uh, it might be your close family, it might be siblings um, or your parents or your kids, uh, or you can uh, invest with your partner. So it might not be your wife or your husband yet, uh, but it's it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, you guys uh, might be even before that you're de facto. So what do you need to take into account if you're doing a joint venture? Often it's just called JV. The main thing to take into account is asset protection. If you guys are going in from different uh, positions or you're planning on accumulating assets separately while still investing together, your tax implications. So what you don't want to do is go in there with different um, ideas of what the plan is. And this really comes back to um, your exit strategy. So generally speaking, if you set up a JV, you want to have the goal right from the outset uh, aligned. One of you doesn't want to be a buy and hold investor forever, and the other one wants to get out after two or three years. So generally speaking, uh, you might you know, say, hey, look, let's invest in this property or in these types of properties, and five years after we um, have bought the property, then we give each other an opportunity to buy the other one out using a uh, registered valuation or um, let's agree that after five years we get an appraisal from a real estate agent and if we both agree that we sell if we don't both agree that we keep the property and that we're only going to do uh, top up lending uh, that we're both equally uh, lending on the property what, what you often to get into situations is family members own the property jointly one of them needs to top up to uh, for another reason and it can create arguments so I was talking to um, you know a friend of a friend today I met him a few years ago his name popped up in my inbox he owns three properties two of them are in trust with his brother um, one of them's worth about 400k one of them's worth over a mil and he owns them half half and there's some debt on them he wants to keep investing in property quite aggressively his brother is not as motivated um, and basically he's going to find it quite hard uh, to use those properties um, as refinance, uh, well, as like a you know bank pretty much to help leverage into more property because he doesn't want to carry his brother along for the ride while he's doing all the work. Unfortunately, in this situation, what it might look like he needs to do is to sell one or both of the properties and sort of restart his property investing cycle. Um, he's just moving, he's moving out of Auckland and he sees a lot of opportunity and he's, uh, you know, he's starting to see that he doesn't want to be 40 and stuck in a job he doesn't like. He's around 30 now. He wants to spend the next 10 years buying lots of properties, creating wealth and income from property investing, and his brother is not going to come along for the ride. So, you know, joint venture partnership, they're in a trust. They don't have the same goals from the start and they didn't have an agreement. So I can can't stress it enough. If you're investing, um, you know, if even if you're investing by yourself, you got to have a really good property accountant. You got to have good legal representation. Potentially, you need separate lawyers for each of you. But um, if, as long as you are going and talking to the lawyer and saying, "Hey, you guys need to make sure that we're both protected equally," um, and the main thing is that you've got the same goal. One of you, if one of you wants to invest for five years and get out, the other one wants to do a buy and hold. You've got to at least address that and plan for that in advance. So joint venture, very common, uh, and uh, it is a way to build up a lot more, um, you know, property equity um, whilst you're not just doing it by yourself. And uh, I know of some people that have joint ventures with lots of different people. They're, they're diversifying in some respects um, and um, you know, aggressively building up their portfolio that way. 